Hi, I'm Tony Luciani with Cameron's Custom Guns, here with Lisa Munson, who's one of the top lady shooters in the nation. And she recently came over to Cameron's Custom Guns from Strayer Voigt. Now Lisa, you traditionally shot the same gun for a long time, your, your kind of infinity signature gun with the tri-rid. What did you notice with your new gun compared to your old gun? Is it easier shooting that STI True Bore one-piece barrel? Well, I was kind of stunned by actually trying some of the, the new guns that you guys had. I was able, uh, able to try one at an Area 2 match, I believe, and someone says, hey, you got to come try this thing, Lisa, and tell, you, tell us what you think about it. And I was just so impressed by it. I go, this is such a soft shooting gun. And that's the one thing I really had noticed with the, the SV guns that I really was kind of wanting to change a little bit and take some of the porting out of the gun because I felt that it was just a little bit of overkill that we were pushing a lot of gas volume and you know trying to go for the ultimate of flat but it was just sharp recoiling oh, yeah. and I, I'm not a very heavy person so I was just getting kind of buffeted by the style of guns that they were shooting so when I had the opportunity to try a gun that actually shot much softer, I go, hey, I could probably use a gun like this. Oh, yeah. so, and I think it helps everyone, gun. not just ladies, yeah. not smaller statured right. shooters. People are always overwhelmed when they come and shoot our gun compared to, a lot of people think they have to shoot mm -hmm. high reports to get some of that that dot tracking and right. make it a little bit flatter shooting, right, harder but, harder shooting but once they come to our system, you, yeah, once they come to our so. system, they always almost say, you know, it shoots yeah. a lot softer than I thought yeah, it was going I'm to. I'm amazed. In fact, even when I walk up to the Chrono here, being it's a new gun, what, oh, yeah. three, four days before yeah, the match here, new gun I just had ago. enough time to try to sight it in a bit, to chronograph for it, and worked up a load, and I came here and beat it was 40 or 45 degrees warmer than back home. I was a little bit leery of what's my powder going to do in this oh, kind yeah. of heat and humidity, and when I got here and I started shooting a couple of stages, I go, Oh dear Lord, this is not going to make major. major yep. This is, I'm scared to death. I walk up to that chrono and I go, oh, this can't be making major. This is just not going to happen. And he fired the first round over the chrono, 1,400 feet See? per second. I go, oh my gosh. Second one was 1,490, or excuse me, 1,390 and then 1,395. And I go, oh. Perfect. That's exactly the zone I wanted to be in. You know, about a 169 power oh, yeah. factor. And I said, I got this to God, gals. This thing feels like it's about a 160 or less than that. Good. And I said, I've never felt such a soft shooting gun. Good. And so, just stunned. Just oh, awesome. yeah. Another thing, I mean, one of the kind of hallmarks of the Cameron's Custom Guns is kind of their attention to detail and their look. Oh, Can yeah. you speak a little bit about that and what drew you to the aesthetics of the gun? They, they are so refined. I mean, everything, every, attention to all the details. I mean, there's not any sharp points, everything you looked at, little little pins perfectly, you know, matched and blended and just, oh, the, every cut on it, it's just awesome. Oh good, I'm glad I mean, so we spent a lot of time, nice. that's, I think a lot of gunsmiths just try to get guns out the door and kind of skip yeah. over things they think aren't critical and we try to look at every single part, every single process and make everything perfect as it can be before right. it leaves the, leaves the shop. Oh, they're looking great. I mean, having people come up to the table and talk to me and, mm -hmm. and just like, hey, how's it going? You joined the new team, new colors, you oh, know, yeah. and they were all wanting to say, hey, how you doing? Oh, and, yeah. and then seeing the guns and can we pick them up? Well, of course oh, you can yeah. pick them up. You know, to feel these things. And people were raving about it. Oh, yeah. I think they were really just stunned. And that's the thing. I mean, people, if they the ever quality. come and see us at an area match yourself or Eddie or I, um, we'll always let them shoot whatever we have. We want people to put the guns in their hands, yeah, feel them, shoot them. I mean, everything's very individual, but you have to kind of, you have to kind of touch something and have that tangible asset to feel right. what it feels like and to make it yeah. kind of sink. Oh yeah, and there the people were sort of dropping open and said, "This feels wonderful." Okay. I mean, they're feeling the, the fit and the finish. I mean, these guns are tight but smooth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's when you when you can have tight, and then you oh, can yeah. have tight and just like too, trying yeah. to bash it shut and like and they'll somebody will say oh yeah just fire 500 rounds through oh, and yeah. break it in it's oh, like yeah. sometimes they feel like break it in it's going to break before it breaks oh, in yeah. and but these things are just absolutely like silk and oh, yeah. just ready ready to rock and roll the second you get them I mean, so. that's the one thing with our guns i mean usually yeah. we, we test fire them when we build them and then once they're hard chrome they're ready to shoot. You know, there's no yeah. break-in period. You may have right. to shoot a mag through it as the hard chrome is, is made right. together, but Oil them a little bit, there's no kinda, yeah, yeah. thousand round break no, or two thousand no. some guns. No, I, I, what I tried to do on mine is I, I think I fired it slowly for mm -hmm. 50 rounds, and it was just, again, that was just oh, yeah. siding in and just making, what am I oh, close yeah. to major? Put some more oil on it. Oh, yeah. and I think I fired slowly about another 50 yeah. rounds, re-oiled it, you know, took it apart, cleaned it a little bit. So that first day was only 150 oh, yeah. rounds. The next time was similar. And then after that, it's just been rock and roll. Yeah, yeah just rock and roll. Perfect. So, perfect. Now, Lisa, you're one of the top instructors in the United States, and you also teach a lot of new shooters who are female. I mean, you do a lot of lady camp around the whole U.S. Okay. When you 
teach a new shooter, female or male, do you see one hurdle that it's always hard for them to overcome or one bad habit you always, always not have to break but have to try to get them to overcome in their shooting? Well, we really focus on good basic technique. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to be able to have them walk before they can run. Yep. And uh, we've got to just get the good foundational skills, you know, of course, stance, grip, sight picture, trigger control. Mm -hmm. We work a lot on that, we, a lot of draws, obviously, mm -hmm. proper draw technique. A good draw takes oh, yeah. a, a lot of work, a lot of and we can memory. spend a couple hours just dry firing mm -hmm. through the steps of a draw. Yep. And so we try to really have the reinforcement of the good technique before we introduce a lot of ammunition. We don't want them out there wasting ammunition. That's oh, yeah. so pricey it's nowadays. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to waste a lot of ammo, so we want to give them good basic technique before you know, they continue oh, on yeah. and just stand out there trying to they'll go to a match and watch and they say, okay, I'll do a safety check and jump in there too, oh, yeah. and then bangity bang, 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 and they have all the misses and they're frustrated and what am I doing wrong and, and all the frustration. And guys too, you know, yep. they just want to go fast. I see that somebody else in their squad that's, oh, yeah. you know, a master class shooter and here they're unclassified newbie and they, they just want to go fast. And yeah, especially they, a lot of new male shooters, they just yeah. see somebody mow a stage down, they want to do it fast and they might right. come out with eight or ten mics and they get yeah, discouraged right. yeah, very discouraged. quickly exactly. instead of putting like, the time and learning the fundamentals. What am I doing wrong and stuff and they work on those fundamentals. And, and then they can learn that it's just a building process. It's, you know, you have to get your, your accuracy, pick up the speed. Then, okay, it's getting sloppy. Okay, bring the accuracy back down a little more speed. Just ratchet it up slowly, slowly. So, That's true. So it's just getting those good basics and stuff. So. And do you still dry fire a lot even at your skill level today? Are you still one that dry fires almost every day? or is well, it? No, I probably spend more time dry firing with new equipment. Okay. I find that once I have the equipment, I'm so used to it that I can pretty much yeah, go muscle, low, muscle memory, go to matches, do a little dry fire mm -hmm. the morning before I head to the match or something, mm -hmm. and just, uh, you know, but when I'm trying to get bonded with a new gun, and oh, yeah. this was a bonding process, oh, yeah. I have to say this they match for me. big switch, you shot the same yeah, gun for a long, I, long And I've time. been shooting iron sights too, mm -hmm. and now going back to a race style. gun, it's just a little different trying to, like, wow, you can pick up the speed a little bit, mm -hmm. but... You know, it's just a little different pulse and yeah. stuff. So and you're one of the few, back. not few, but there are, a lot of the top shooters tend to stick to one division. One division. Where you yes. are known to shoot single stack and limited, limited and, open. and open. Do you have any pointers from switching divisions? I know a lot of us kind of get stagnated in that one division we shoot because we do kind of decently in it. And we don't want to try something else because it's harder maybe. I think when I finally started to be able to bring the skill set up, in each category mm -hmm. pretty evenly. I struggled with one category or the okay. other because my equipment was so diverse. Oh, yeah. When I went from a single stack gun to a very, very heavy you know, race gun, it was mix and match. Oh, yeah. It wasn't working. So I said a number of years ago, my dream shot would be to try to match a limited gun as closely as I could, weight-wise, balance, yeah. triggers, to my open yeah, gun. that's what we're trying to do with her limit right. gun that we just finished building. We're trying to do that. We're trying to mimic the weight so when she does transition from gun to gun, there's not that long right. learning curve. It's going to take you a couple shots, but, but it's not. The presentation you know, should be similar, and the wonderful new sideways mounted Seymour mm -hmm. that I have on my gun allows me to bring the sight lower on my open gun to have the same presentation. Mm -hmm. and and a lot of shooters are, awesome. I mean, I think it's a great thing for people that do shoot different or for new shooters to acquire that dot. You know, we're all familiar with that Seymour jiggle and the moving the gun right. around trying to find the dot. And I think the learning curve is much quicker and more natural for people shooting iron right. sights or even new, right. new to shooting open or new to shooting in general, where the gun presents itself better in a normal in a normal hold right. as opposed to kind of not breaking your wrist and holding a little lower. Right. But did you, did you was it a big transition going to that, going from an ADCO, a tube sight, to a Seymour? I No, that's what finally made transitioning from my <laughs> scope mm -hmm. to a Seymour doable for me oh, yeah. because I struggled a bit with just a disc out in yeah. space somewhere up high. I just the visual yeah. reference wasn't there for me. Having it low I can now index off of the slide as I'm presenting mm -hmm. it and I can find it every single yeah. time. That's great. So to it's hear. great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Guys. Good deal. Yeah and guys look for our new scope yeah. mount coming to a yeah. store near you. Hopefully our store. Yeah. <laughs> it's badass. It's